Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Today, the one, the only, the hype master, Kaizen by Ariana and Evans. Beautiful, beautiful scent on this new soap base by Peter Charcalis. Man, this stuff is beautiful. Super bright. I get a nice heavy orange and lemon out of there. Scent notes have written here. Um, Mandarin, bergamot, lemon, neroli, honeysuckle, green apple, rose, tobacco, vetiver, sandalwood, cedarwood. Very, very bright scent. Mmm. Very, very nice. Um, pretty soft soap. You can see how easy that is to uh, get my finger impression in. Um, so I did not, um, I did not soak this. Certainly did not see a need to. Um, ingredients: stearic acid, tallow, water, goat's milk, potassium hydroxide, cocum butter, shea butter, castor oil. Um, cocoa butter, sodium hydroxide, glycerin, manteca, which is pig, pig tallow, I believe, um, aloe juice, avocado oil, hemp seed oil, apricot, kernel seed oil, lanolin, agave, slippery elm, sodium lactate, xanthan gum, um, silk amino acid, tussa silk, and marshmallow root. Um, and what that all smells like together is awesome. Mmm, it's beautiful. My wife really loves this too. I'm not going to let her use it, but she really likes the smell. Beautiful artwork on the front. Really, really nice. And today I will be using my Strike Gold Shave Gold Dollar. This is one of the three blades that Frank honed for me recently um, and I've used the other two and now it's time to use this one um, and then my backup to get as close as possible uh, for any spots that I'm not great with with the um, with the straight um, usually I have trouble like going up here and I have trouble going here and then I still have trouble in this area so I'll be using the Mercury 34C with a Voshkod to finish those up if need be uh, and they probably need will probably be there, so you'll probably see me finish with that. Um, brush of the day, my Sterling Soap Company 26 millimeter um, finest badger. Really nice jelly tips, super soft, nice backbone. Um, splash today is the matching splash for Kaizen, um, and I don't know if you can see, but this is not like just your typical regular alcohol splash. Um, the coloring is definitely different and it looks really rich. Um, I'll show it to you when I, when I go to apply it. Um, and I'm gonna finish it with Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. Um, the notes on that are bergamot, mandarin orange, lemon, um, Neroli's, or um, yeah, yep, so those are the commonalities between the soap, the um, aftershave, and the scent of the day. Um, also lavender, myrtle, rosemary, bitter orange, orange flower, jasmine, amber, ambrette, and angelica. So I mean just a ton of a ton of ingredients but really really beautiful summery scent um, and should go very well with this soap and splash. Not to say that those smell the same, they don't at all, but I've just got some common notes there that should work really well together. So We'll start out just getting a little water in my brush, a little touch of water on my face. And we'll get loading. You can see no water on there, but really nice soft soap. Don't foresee any problems loading it all without soaking it. I mean, you can see already it's got a nice bit of soap on there. So I think that's maybe 
way more than plenty. Yeah, this is, I mean, this stuff just feels like butter. It's so nice and soft, creamy, beautiful stuff. Boy, that is slick on my fingers. I can't even I can't even wash it off with water. So I'm gonna have to go in for the Allen block to get any kind of grip here. Wow. <clears throat> and let's get this on. Hope everyone out there is having a great Memorial Day weekend. Hope you're relaxing out there. My mother is here from Nashville. We're doing some renovating around the house. So I'm glad she's here to help with that. can tell this lather is going to be really dense. Look at that already. I've heard that this has a really large water tolerance. I'm going to put it to the test and get as much water in there as I can. Every time you can't see my brush, I'm just dipping the tips of the brush into water just to get more in there. And then I just work it into the lather. Wow. Look at that already. Holy moly. It's just falling off everywhere. And I'll put more water in. And more water in. Look at this. Just tons and tons. Wow, this stuff explodes with water. Wow. And I think we've gotten about as much water in there as we need. That's beautiful. Gotta get some nice protection out of that. That's just really thick. Super, super slick. It's gonna be really nice for this straight razor. Alright, a little more alum on my fingers. Look at that. 
It's beautiful. Super, super shiny. And here we go. Absolutely no trouble there. Didn't mention there, but I think I'm at I think I'm at four days growth. So far, so good. Very good <clears throat> residual slickness. There we go. <clears throat> Sorry for the clear in my throat. I got this post nasal drip from my allergies are getting crazy. We're finally starting to get some growth up in here here in Maine. I was loading some stuff into my Jeep this morning, and there's a where the black is on my Jeep, I could just see pollen in the air. Missed a Scott spot, but looks so slick. Let's go right for it. No issues. this wow 
It's just sitting on the edges of the brush. I would say you could load a lot less of this and still get a ton of lather. Mm. Just as usual, got it right in my mouth. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Not that I want to eat it, but there's nothing bitter in there. Good job, Peter. Tasty soap. I guess I've never gotten above four and a half on the soap, so this one's going to have to raise the bar. This one's going to be a five. Sorry about that. My little boy needed some urgent help. Man, this stuff is luxurious. I'm going to definitely give this an elite tag. Boy, that's great. All right, a little across the green here. to get any grip. Slickness is so good. See, I got myself in one little spot there. Guess the only way to get better is to keep doing it, right? Still kind of scared to go over here um, across the green. I like my skin and I don't feel that comfortable yet. I also didn't get my sideburns real straight so I'll be fixing that with my DE also. All right, we'll go against the grain. And this scent is so great. Good stuff. I'll go against the grain on my neck and cheeks um, and then I'll go and touch everything up with my DE after that. Give a good stretch if I can get a grip.
great slickness on here. If you haven't tried this yet, you definitely should. Very nice. All right. Get my razor a little wipe down here. Don't want to leave any water on it. Okay. <clears throat> and from this point, I'm gonna finish up with the DE. Very nice. Um, my technique is still not great, so I know I can get it a lot better with the DE. And there's no use in going without a perfect shave, right? In my book. Really beautiful. Mr. Charcalis has done a wonderful job with this. These sideburns right where I want them. Let's see. Let's see if we're straight. Yep, that looks good. All right. I'm just so much more comfortable with a DE. Uh, I'll keep working at it. It does really leave a sense of accomplishment doing it with a straight blade. You know, you don't have any kind of guard or anything to save you. So you kind of pay for your screw ups. And overall, it's just fun. In that dimple. I kind of go up at an angle in here, the an angle here, and then angle there angle there. Just try and get up right up against the nose. There's nothing worse than having a good shave and then going and feeling the hair sticking out there. For me. And that's awesome. I'll do a little clean up work on my neck. Look at that. Mm-hmm.
I feel like I could do this all day and it still would not irritate my pretty sensitive skin. It just glides. It's so slick. I think the xanthan gum has something to do with that too. I know I've cooked with xanthan gum. I worked in a place that did um, first class airline meals. And so we had to make things that um, could quickly be heated up um, and still not lose their quality. Um, and so we use xanthan gum for a lot of things to help kind of retain moisture, kind of a texturizing and um, to bind water. So um, food safety wise, it would be safer for longer. Um, and that kind of reminds me of this. It just leaves kind of a, it's got kind of a, a gel um, type consistency. And that feels a lot like that, but man, that stuff is great. We get cleaned up here, and then I'm excited to try the splash out. It's got a lot of good skin food in it. They call it after aftershave skin food, um, and it's got kind of the kind of the color of Bear String Man Reserve aftershaves. If you've seen those. Oh, missed a spot. Don't need any soap for that. And we'll hit it with a little Allen block. And with cold water. Very little feedback. Well, I'm very impressed. Great, great job on that. I've got the Asian plum and the Asian pear, and then this Kaizen, which are all three different bases. And all of them are great, but man, this one, whew, I love it so far. Let me wash off. Great shave. Glad to get that off of there. If you guys are enjoying this, please like and subscribe. I'm getting closer and closer to 100 subscribers. Thank you guys for your support. So here we go. I looked on the ingredients and the ingredient label shows the same thing as the, um, as the soap. So I'm not sure. I remember seeing online there was glycerin in the um, in the splash with skin food, and I don't see it on here, so I think this is just the same thing as the soap. So, I'll let you see this. Maybe you can tell. See that? Look at the color of that. So, definitely not clear like you expect from a splash. And I dropped about half of it down my arm, so I'm gonna add a little more without showing you. Here we go. Zero alcohol burn. There is alcohol in it, but zero alcohol burn. So I would call this somewhere between a splash and a balm. And I'm not putting any balm on over this because I want to see just how this does and I will report back to you on my next video unless I forget and if so I hope you will scold me in the comments 
All right, very nice feeling so far. And I'm gonna finish up with one of my favorite fragrances for summertime. Neroli Portofino, decant from the Fragrance Decant Boutique. Check them out. Oh, that bright, clean citrus neroli scent is so nice. If you haven't tried that out, I definitely would say try it. You know, if you're into citruses, it's not like overly floral, um, but just really nice. So thank you guys. Thank you for joining me again. Um, I hope this is a decent review for you for the Kaizen, and I definitely recommend that you pick it up. Um, if not, maybe there will be samples out there um, later on, like Maggard's or, or wherever. Um, but definitely get your hands on it, check it out, and see what you think. Um, and if you've already used it, please leave some comments. I'd love to see what you think about it. So once again, thank you, and I'll catch you on the next one.